to the Compliance Kitchen Podcast. In this episode, I want to take a look at uh, a recent update from the Customs. So on November 12th, the Customs and Border Protection uh, Agency, or CBP, issued a release uh, advising that they are experiencing a record-breaking seizure of luxury goods contraband at the Los Angeles uh, Long Beach seaport for fiscal year 2021. And uh, the notice says that CBP at this port seized over 760 million in counterfeit and prohibited goods uh, for the year. Uh, The appraised value of this uh, is based on the manufacturer's suggested retail price uh, of genuine goods. So that's how they figure out the value of what they seize. And apparently this is a 652% increase uh, over the previous years, and uh, a CBP advises that the number of trade enforcement seizures also went up by 24%. Examples of the contraband that they seized at this air, uh, airport, at the seaport specifically, jewelry, accessories, apparel, high fashion, electronics, and so on, but also, unfortunately, uh, counterfeit pharmaceuticals. So that, that's to me, is particularly concerning. Uh, CBP also partnered with the DEA to seize 37 illegally imported pill press machines and 23, over 2,300 capsule filling machines. And so these could be used by drug traffickers to encapsulate narcotics in clandestine labs. And the seized machines, we are told, would have been able to produce over a million capsules per hour. So you have these uh, pill press machines and capsule machines, and then of course, just uh, ready-made counterfeit pharmaceuticals that are coming into the country. Uh, The CBP director of field operations in LA, Carlos Martel, uh, noted that the numbers show that clearly the pandemic didn't slow down the smugglers from attempting to introduce their products into the United States. Now, what can consumers do to protect themselves? I guess the the easiest steps uh, are probably the most obvious ones. Uh, Purchase goods directly from the trademark holder or from authorized retailers or dealers. Uh, When you're shopping online, read reviews, check for working US phone number and address that can be used to contact the seller. And also CBP has a number of resources. Uh, There is the e-commerce counterfeit awareness guide for consumers. Also remember that if the price is too good, uh, it probably, uh, you're probably looking at a counterfeit product. Uh, For more information about the risks that are associated with purchasing counterfeit goods, CBP has the fake goods, real dangers, uh, article on their website. And there's also e-commerce awareness guide. They also have additional tips for protecting you and your family from counterfeit goods available at stopfakes.gov. And uh, I know this is a lot of links I'm throwing out at you guys. So if you go to compliancekitchen.com, I have all of them inside the post on this recent update from the customs. (music) 